Since we came out of Christmas, we were, we were five and seven out of the, the Macomb tournament, and we've just been working on little goals, you know, we, a week at a time or a few games at a time. Just focus and going hard in practice, just critiquing everything. We're putting the focus on the short term um, every week, and, and, you know, this week we had four games. You know, we would have loved to have won all four of them. We, we dropped that close one at Macomb last night. But, you know, going three and four against the opponents that we had this week, we're, we're pleased with that. And now, you know, next week we're, we got three more games and then that regional game, so another four-game week. And, you know, we just set those little goals and continue to get better, continue to learn from mistakes and, and find ways to close games like we did here tonight. On the cusp of regional play, Camp Point Central looms as an incredibly difficult Class 1A out. This is a team, after all, that has played the toughest opponents on its schedule at an incredibly high clip. See also a win over and a two-point loss to Liberty, and that aforementioned heartbreaking loss at the buzzer to Macomb last week. A function of a Panther lineup that causes matchup havoc, thanks to the presence of, for lack of a better phrase, power guard Isaac Gennenbacher. One of the best things about Isaac is his versatility. He has the ability to step out, hit the jump shot. He's, he's a big body inside. Um, he handles the ball. You know, he used to be a guard when he was in junior high and, and on the JV team a few years ago. And, you know, that, that versatility lets us put him in a lot of different positions where he's able to score and, and uh, you know, help the team in, in whatever way we need him to. It's real good. We're coming together and running everything real good. Uh, he's very soft-spoken. Um, we, we always joke around with them, you know, if, if we can get more than two or three words out of them, it, it's a successful conversation sometimes. So, but, that, but just very, very soft-spoken, very mannered young man, and, you know, he, he just goes about his business and, and leaves everything else to be. It's really a lot of the energy stuff. When he's going and getting those second-chance opportunities for us, uh, picking up some defensive steals, you know, he gets those breakaways a lot. He, a lot of times he gets those long, those long rebounds, takes them the length of the floor, and it's just, it's, it's, energy plays like that that get the bench going then gets everybody else going and and you know he's kind of he can be that catalyst for us at times real nice it gets the crowd going hype we we have a unity first and we've played them once this year it's common opponent conference you know they know us we know them so so in a game like that defense has to be key because you have to you have to shut down what you know and, and you have to be prepared for anything else um lewiston on the other hand it'd be like a game like tonight where we're going to well, we'll have film, we'll have a game plan, but there'll be a lot of learning as we go. Um, and then if we get the opportunity to uh, hopefully play um, in a regional championship against um, maybe Brown County or whoever it ends up being, um, you know, we saw them earlier in the year. We know that they have very good guard play. They, they shoot the ball well, they get up and down. So, so defense, you know, defense intensity, defensive execution is, is key to any regional win, I think.